Hi, Dr. JP here, and I've got an old favorite, an old classic from the old days. Uh, I remember when I was a kid reading this one. Corduroy by Don Freeman. I want you to be my guest as we go into the world of Corduroy, the little teddy bear. Here we go. Corduroy. So, it starts out. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. In the store, it was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things. But no one ever seemed to want this poor little bear in green overalls. Hmm. Then one morning a little girl stopped and she looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh mommy! Mommy! She said. Look! That's the bear I've always wanted! It's the very bear I wanted! No, not today, dear. I've spent too much money, her mother said. Besides, he doesn't even look new. Look, he's lost one of the buttons on his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched sadly as the girl and her mom walked away. I didn't know that I lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Now, when it's night, Corduroy comes alive. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone home, and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy carefully climbed down from the shelf. He began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Where is it? And suddenly he felt the floor was moving under him, and quite by accident he had stepped on an escalator, and up he went. And he looked and he goes, Could this be a mountain? he wondered. I've always wanted to climb a mountain. Hmm. And he stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor. And there before his eyes was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I always wanted to live in a palace. Well, he wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And he crawled up on the thick mattress. And at once he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried. And he tried to pick it up, but it was like all the other buttons on the mattress. It was tied down tight. And he yanked 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 and he yanked, and he yanked, and he yanked with both his paws until poosh, it popped. Off came the button, off the mattress, corduroy toppled, and poosh, the tall lamp went down and fell with a big crash. Oh, no, I'm gonna be in trouble. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store, and that was the night watchman, and he started going on his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the elevator, wondering, what's going on here? Now who in the world did that? He exclaimed, somebody must be hiding around here. Someone just knocked over this lamp. Well, he flashed.
flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there were two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the covers. What? Hello? How did you get upstairs? The night watchman said. Hmm. So the watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and put him back on the shelf in the toy department with all the other animals and dolls. And you know what? Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning and there looking at him with a wide warm smile was the same girl he'd seen just the day before. I'm Lisa she said, and you're gonna be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I saved in my piggy bank and my mother said I could bring you home. So she said she wanted to buy him. She got her money out. And the lady said, should I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh no, thank you, Lisa answered. And she carried Corduroy home in her arms. And she ran up all the four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and she went straight to her room. And then Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a dress chest of drawers. And then there was a girl-sized bed. And then there was a little bed that was just right for him. And the room was small, nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. And he said, this must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said. But you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. So that's why I'm sewing it on. And Corduroy said, you must be a friend. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, Lisa said. And she gave him a big hug. <laughs>